it morning or it'll be afternoon by the time this is up because I'm recording the morning drip after doing the preview podcast with Jake Butt. So check that out once that's out, once that's up, because that should be good listening and or viewing. Anyway, this is a weird week with Michigan taking on Wisconsin uh, because it there's so much unknowns and I feel like there's a bit of unease in the Michigan fan base because while there is this feeling that this team could be different, we've seen the story play out before. Now, we've seen things play out well, right? You think to, so on a game-by-game -game basis, I mean, you think about the Iowa game in 2019. There was all this buildup of, this is the biggest game in Jim Harbaugh's tenure, and if Michigan loses this, it's the beginning of the end. And... uh can Michigan win it? Michigan wins it in a very unspectacular 10 to 3 fashion, but at least it satiates a bit of the bloodlust, I guess you could say. But that and you look at this Wisconsin game. It, it it it's weird. It's it's a very muted feeling. I feel like everyone's kind of holding on for dear life at the moment with this idea of what's going to happen? Is Michigan going to be able to go out there and actually do what it says it's going to be able to do is Michigan going to struggle or are they going to are they going to have the, the same bad game for the third straight year against Wisconsin uh are the road woes going to continue now Penn State managed to go on the road and beat Wisconsin Penn State is kind of analogous to Michigan in pretty much every way right James Franklin struggles to beat ranked teams especially on the road the records between Franklin and Harbaugh are about the same, and I believe they're also three and three against each other, right? With each getting a road win. Uh, Harbaugh in 2015 and State College and uh, James Franklin this last year. He was able to go into Madison and get a win and in a hard-fought game. So it, 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 it serves to, you know, to say that maybe Michigan can. This is a game that I think we all had circled on the calendar as an almost certain loss for the Wolverines. Certainly, it was the, uh, when I look at something like the predictive advanced analytics, it was that, exactly. Aside from Ohio State, that this was the one that you looked at, like ESPN, FPI, and it, it had, gave Michigan like a 30% chance of winning. Now it's all the way up until 70-something, I believe. But how much does it really matter if they do win or lose when suddenly the perception of Wisconsin's changed, right? This is kind of a lose-lose situation in a lot of ways for Michigan because if you lose the game, then it's you lost to a bad Wisconsin team. If you win the game, the narrative doesn't suddenly flip of, hey, they went out and they beat a team on the road that they haven't beaten on the road since 2001. No, it's you went out there and you beat a bad Wisconsin team that's now 1-3. So things start to get a little problematic in that, that sense. But with that in mind, that makes it that much more of a must win. Now, do I think it's a disaster if Michigan loses this game? I don't, right? Wisconsin is still a good team, at least on the defensive side of the ball. It's kind of the similar type of situation as to what you saw with Washington, with the exception of the fact that I don't think you're going to run for 300-something yards against this Wisconsin defense. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to run for 100 yards against this Wisconsin defense. But nonetheless, we've seen Wisconsin defenses have similar stats uh, going into the Michigan game. Michigan struggling to run it. But then you look down the stretch and you see Ohio State being able to run it. Illinois being able to run it. You know, Nebraska being able to run it. So this is all going to come down to a lot of creativity on Michigan's end. Michigan's going to need to figure out what it wants to be, and it needs to figure it out immediately because they're going to get punched in the mouth. I have no doubt that Michigan at some point is going to have its first deficit of the season on Saturday because I think Wisconsin's feeling like, hey, we need to win just as much as Michigan kind of feels like, yeah, we're flying high, but we need to win. Everyone feels like their back's against the wall, the coaching staff in particular, in the sense of if we don't do this now, then we're out of jobs. I think Wisconsin, you know, they're trying to save their season. A win against Michigan gets them on the right track. They only have one loss in the Big Ten, right, in Penn State. So they still have an opportunity to win the conference. A loss to Michigan probably makes that close to impossible. So I, I, I'm really curious as to what 
Michigan's going to see as far as what does Wisconsin do? How much does Graham Mertz actually play better football? You know, after a turnover fest against the Irish this past week, the coaches are preaching to him, do not turn the ball over, but how much can Michigan get in his head? What's that battle going to be like between Aiden Hutchinson and Tyler Beach, who has not been good so far in pass protection for the Wisconsin Badgers? What what is it gonna what's gonna happen if Josh Ross is back and that really they they can't run the ball and they end up in you know second and long third and long type of situations, you know which I think that that'll happen from time to time. I don't think that they're gonna be able to just run all over the edges like they did last year with Mike McDonald now leading the charge. We we saw what happened when they knew where the pressure was coming from. They just ran away from it every single play last year. Not gonna be that type of situation this year. I think that this game has been circled on the calendar for not just the coaches, but the players as well. This is one where when you talk to the players like we have all week, they have said, this is a chance for us to tell us who we really are, right? This is our measuring stick. Talk to Mozzie Smith. He says, going up against this offensive line, this tells us who we are as a defensive line. The offensive linemen say the same thing, but they also are confident. We can run the ball. We can do what we want to do in this game. I'm not that confident, right? I think that they'll be better than people project, but I'm not that confident. They think that they'll be able to go out there and do what they want to do. That said, Michigan is going to have to pass the ball more in this game, and I think that Jim Harbaugh is going and Josh Gaddis are going to be prepared to do exactly that, especially when you think about the fact that Harbaugh had said after the, Wisco- uh, the, sorry, the Washington game that, hey, we, we knew we weren't going to win the game by throwing the ball 56 times, so we ran it 56 times. He talked to uh, Ivan Mazel of On3 uh, this past week about how they went into the season thinking they were going to have a 50-50 split uh, between run and passes. They were going to be very even-handed when it came to it. And then Western Michigan game came, uh, came and things kind of went the other way. They seem very confident that they can pass the ball, but we haven't seen it, and that gives me anxiety. So we're going to learn a lot about what this Michigan team is I guess for better or worse. And it'll be, I think, very interesting. It has been a very good team through four games. It does not matter whether it's lesser opponents or not. Michigan has executed very well. If you talk to people like I do that uh, that know more about football than I do, like the guys at Pro Football Focus, they'll tell you Michigan has been excellent. It's the the number three rated team so far through four weeks, according to Pro Football Focus. So it doesn't matter because in the sense of if it's been lesser opponents, because we've seen good Michigan teams struggle against lesser opponents, and we've seen this Michigan team dominate everyone except for one half of football against Rutgers. And I don't really look at Rutgers as a lesser opponent necessarily in the sense of, I mean, yes, Michigan is more talented. I think this is a decent Rutgers team that Michigan just faced. Now it's time to prove your mettle if you're the Wolverines. You're going on the road to a place you haven't won in 20 years. On the 20th anniversary, essentially, of that, can you finally take back that, change the narrative, change the tide? We'll find out on Saturday. I do not have supreme confidence, but I'm also not uh, living in negative land. I am predicting a Michigan win, 24-23, to but... It's going to be a tough one. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll be back next week, probably with anywhere between three to five episodes. That's what I'm targeting now for the morning drip. Uh, because some days it just it, it just doesn't work with uh, other things. And it takes a lot longer to get these out than I thought it would. But anyway, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Okay.